Subterranean Challenge Systems teams are trekking toward the urban circuit after competing in the tunnel circuit, the first scored event of DARPA's high-tech underground contest. Eleven teams from eight countries gathered in Pittsburgh August 15th through 22nd to attempt to map, identify, and report artifacts along the passages of two Pittsburgh mines. With them, they brought 20 unmanned aerial vehicles, 64 ground robots, and one autonomous blimp. DARPA-funded and self-funded teams compete side-by-side -side throughout the Subterranean Challenge. Only self-funded teams are eligible for prizes in the circuit events, but they must finish in the top five overall. All qualified teams are eligible for prizes in the final event. Teams in the tunnel circuit completed four total runs, two 60-minute runs on each of two courses, experimental and safety research. The courses varied in difficulty and included 20 artifacts each. Teams earned points by accurately identifying artifacts within five meters. One point! The final score was a total of each team's best score from each of the courses. In instances of a points tie, team rank was determined by earliest time the last artifact was successfully reported, averaged across the team's best runs on each course, Earliest time, the first artifact was successfully reported, averaged across the team's best runs on each course, and lowest average time across all valid artifact reports, averaged across the team's best runs on each course. The first of three circuits, the tunnel circuit represents any human-made tunnel, including those used for mining operations. We're primarily inspired and motivated to hold this subterranean challenge by the warfighter needs and those needs of the first responders communities. I think all our competitors learned a great deal at the tunnel circuit and will be turning those lessons learned into real improvements of their technologies. But those competitors better not be complacent because at the urban and cave circuits coming up, we have a few more surprises up our sleeves. Researchers, engineers, roboticists, and robot enthusiasts inspired by the tunnel circuit still have time to apply to compete in the urban circuit, which will take place in February 2020. The qualification deadline is in October. Requirements can be found in the Subtea Challenge Qualification Guide, available on the resources page of subteachallenge.com. The cave circuit will take place in August 2020. The final event, incorporating all three subdomains, will be in August 2021. For additional information on the DARPA Subterranean Challenge, please visit subteachallenge.com or email questions to subteachallenge at darpa.mil.